Hey, this is Matthias with Propellerhead Software and in this video I'll cover the Regroove mixer and why you should use it. A lot of recent devices, like the Redrum, have a little button called Shuffle. Turning this on will add Shuffle to the sequence. That's all well and good, but what if you want to change the amount of Shuffle or take your sequence beyond just Shuffle and actually find a groove? That's where Regroove comes in. Regroove is a mixer, but instead of mixing sound, you're mixing the timing or groove of MIDI notes. You find Regroove in the transport panel. Just click the G to open it up. On the left hand side we have the global section, and here you can actually change what the global shuffle is, the one we turn on in Redrum or another device with shuffle. Very handy. However, using the different channels in Regroove is where the real power lies. A Regroove channel can hold one group, either a preset Regroove file or a combination of shuffle and slide. These can then be assigned to any MIDI track in the sequencer. Let's try this out. Here's a drum pattern I sequence that desperately needs some more groove. I'll assign this sequencer track to regroup channel A1 and then try out some different regroup patches. I can also add some extra shuffle. and slide the note data backwards or forwards in time. Note that all this is actually non-destructive. Your original MIDI data is always there in the sequencer. You can change your groove at any time. But what if the groove you want isn't available as a regroove patch? Perhaps you painstakingly sequence, you know, the most amazing drum pattern ever, shifting all the notes to sound just as you want them. Luckily it's quite easy to grab timing information and make that into a new regroove patch. Here I have a drum beat that I recorded live with my keyboard. I can now simply right click this clip and select get groove from clip. This timing data is now saved in the regroove channel where edit is enabled. Now I can assign this groove to other tracks like my hi-hats and this bass line here and adjust how much it changes my groove using the slider in regroove. <laughs> You could also try doing this on Rex loop you've copied to a sequencer track. This is a great way to steal grooves from old chopped up funk loops or soul school loops and stuff like that. Another thing that's really useful in Regroove is the pre-align button. This is kind of like a soft quantize. If you enable it, all sequencer tracks using this channel are non-destructively quantized before the groove is applied. So if you don't load in any groove file, you can actually use this to apply a straight quantize to any track without actually quantizing it, like this. That's all for this video. Hopefully you got some good ideas about how you can get some groove into your tracks. Make sure you try Regroove on a lot of different material. Maybe try to put your hi-hat and kick on separate tracks so you can add different amount of grooves to them or something like that. If you come up with something really cool, feel free to share your track with us. Just send us an email to productspecialist at propellerheads.se or link it to us via Twitter or Facebook. Until next time.